Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the entire contents of this page and I'm going to copy it onto another page and we'll dabble a bit with the sitemap path and investigate some of its properties. So if you follow along, I'm going to move my cursor to the top left hand corner and press Ctrl A to select all the controls on the page and then right click and copy. So that's copied all the controls onto the clipboard and then in Solution Explorer if you open up businessproducts.aspx and if you go into the design view and right click and paste. So that's copied the entire contents of the default page and copied them onto this page and you can see now the breadcrumbs at the top are different. It shows that we have business products, products home. Now the exact information you'll have here depends on how the control has been set up. So let's select the sitemap path and in the properties now the path direction can be either current to root which is what's shown here or it can be root to current. So have a play with that and see which one you prefer current to root. So that's the current page and we progressively move towards the root or alternatively we can have root to current and I think that's the more conventional approach. You start with the root and then you move gradually towards the current page. The path separator you can change if you want to. Currently it's the greater than symbol so for example you could replace it with a curly brace if you want to. I think I preferred the angle bracket so let's reinstate the angle bracket like so. And one last thing, let's just go back up to the label and change the text of it so that instead of saying this is the home page, it really should say this is the business products page. Like so. Okay, so let's save this page. And let's go back to the default page and just run the application again. So there's the home page. And if we click on business products, so now you'll notice it's the business products link here that's displayed in green because that's the currently selected page. And here's our set of breadcrumbs. This is my site map path control, which shows that currently we're at business products. Upper page to products, that corresponds to this item in the list. Now this item isn't selectable. It's not really a link. Therefore, we can't click on it. But this is, if I click here, it'll take me back to the home page. Splendid. So let's just close... Internet Explorer. I have one more uh, thing to show uh, to talk about.